Hey up photo pips and welcome back to the channel and once again in this very small island we live in it's raining will you join me today continuing my story on my transformation from the Canon system to the Fuji film X-T2 system I'm heading over to Leamington Spa to have a look at a used Fuji film um, 18 to 135 as I'm looking for a versatile lens something that's gonna get me shooting random rather than having to think about going out and putting everything in the camera bag but heading out with a camera in the car and just jumping out the car and shooting and I think the 18 to 135 is going to be the versatile lens I need to get the job done so you're invited to come on this adventure with me I've packed the camera in the bag I've chucked the 10 to 24 in the filter system because after I've been to that shop in Leamington I'm heading over to Chesterton windmill which is a beautiful 16th century um, windmill which I've shot before but it's a beautiful beautiful building so join me let's crack on I'll see you in Leamington <laughs> cheers guys Hey, I'm Photo Pips, so about 45 minutes in and uh, I've arrived here. Traffic, no problem whatsoever. Two roads basically, dead easy. Um, the shop's literally just through this parkway here. Um, again, it's still raining as usual, but I don't expect anything else. Hopefully it's gonna die down and we get to go over to Chesterton uh, Windmill. But I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. I'll head back that way regardless. Okay guys, I'll check in soon. Let's go and see if this lens is worth 500 pound price tag. Hey up photo pips and welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you about lenses. And one of the main reasons why I switched from Fuji to Canon. So why I still got my Canon lenses, I want to go over the difference in size and weights and the versatility of each lens. Now I'm going to start at the big end. So we've got here a 100 to 400 mil Fujian lens, which is obviously the equivalent of 150 to 600 mil. Never shot that far. Okay, so for me, it's gonna be very interesting. Now this lens has a five stop image stabilization system built into it. And I have tested it. I had a quick play shoot in the moon the other day and it is absolutely superb. I was shooting at something. This is never never heard of, so I'm at the far end, 400. I'm gonna stick with um, full frame equivalents. So I'm shooting at the, the far end of 600 mil on this at, <laughs> this is unheard of, 120th of the second as I was shooting the moon, handheld because this has got the the five stop image image stabilization and that and you know what it's just a, a beautiful beautiful thing to hold it really is so let me see if i can just get these full length so there's the 600 end oh my god it's massive and the canon one because it's the original first version of this lens this is on a um, bellow so it's a it's just a bellow action so it pumps it pumps in and out in and out and I, I'm so used to that that I actually do love it so there let's I'll get them side by side absolutely nothing in it at full length they are absolutely level dead level look at that this one's just a little tiny bit bigger. The Fuji is just a little bit bigger millimeters, but when they're compact, the Fuji is um, quite a few millimeters bigger. But what I love about it is it's not on the Bella system because the thing was with the Bella system was, although I loved it, I mean, look, that's massive difference. I do believe it is the, um, the lens hood that's the, the bigger not the actual lens itself although the lens is bigger I'm just going to pop these lens hoods off and then you can see for yourself yeah look at that there's a big difference there that's a big difference 
but for some strange reason at the far end of 600 400 for the L lens they're the same it's very strange so that's the uh, 100 to 400 mil 150 to 600 on the Fuji side for me nothing in it nothing whatsoever maybe the clarity of this Fuji lens is slightly better because this one is quite an old lens now and a real workhorse okay guys now this is the focal equivalent to this it is not the equivalent lens because this lens is absolutely superb it's nearly a £2,000 lens and it's worth every penny. It is a stunning piece of glass. But focal wise, this 18 to 135, which is uh, 27 to uh, 200, I think it's all like 209, is the equivalent. Now this is why I changed, this is why I went to uh, Fujifilm for that reason, <laughs> do I need to say anything? But keep in mind this is not the equivalent lens, do not compare these lenses any way shape or form they are not the same, focal length they are and, and that, that's, that's all okay so but when it comes down to editing and also as your photography grows and as you grow as a photographer you learn ways around things so the Canon lens is an f2.8 lens right through from 70 to 200 the Fuji 18 to 135 is f4.5 or f4 no? Let me get this right. I've literally just paid the dollar out for this. So I'm going to get it dead right. So it's a one, it's a 3.5 to 5.6. Okay. Now at the smaller end, the 18 mil, you're going to get 3.5. You know, that'll be your minimum F stop. Then once you start to zoom, zoom you are going to start losing your aperture to your top end of 5.6 so keep that in mind the Canon's f2.8 all the way through this is why you cannot compare these two lenses that will shoot in the dark this one you you just crank the ISO up learn to adapt but what you've also got in this remember is that five stop image stabilization okay that's not going to help we should speed if you're shooting something that's moving fast but it will help in low light situations because you can shoot at a lower shutter speed. I'm just going to go over this with a, a bit of a clean cloth and uh, sort it out. Uh, it looks like a it looks like a mint lens to me. Just got a few fingerprints on it, which is no problem. So that is that one. And do you know what I absolutely love about the Fuji stuff is they've all got little dots on. So you can screw down your lens hood. Now this is the baby. This is the 10 to 24 um, Fuji lens. And it is a stunning, stunning piece of equipment. And do you know what it does? So this is the equivalent of a 15mm at the wide end. 17 to 40, okay. 27 to 70. That is the range <clears throat> that I can shoot at with these two lenses. So the versatility of that 18 to 135 mil means I can lose them two lenses 
with this one lens that is how versatile this is. So this is a 27, the wide end, and that's 24. So between these two lenses, they are covering those three lenses. So I've lo in effect, I've lost a whole complete lens. So I can take more with them, not in the way of um, lenses or weight, but focal length. I can take more focal length with me because th this is the combination I think I'll be using day to day. Probably putting the 18 to 135 on the Fuji X-T2 and it'll be a random camera where you're driving along, you see something, bang, you stop, you grab your camera, you're gone because size will not matter. Size will not matter. Cost wise, each one of these lenses, these Fuji lenses were second hand or pre-loved. The first one I bought was the 10 to 24, classed as mint on uh, Wex's website where I actually bought the X-T2 from brand new. And you know what, they were not wrong. This is a mint lens, it looks absolutely brand new. Do you know what, I saved 200 pound on the retail price of that lens. This one, this this uh, retails are, I think 1,000, I'm gonna be generous and say 500, but I think it's 1,600. If you hunt about, you can get it for 1,499 pounds, and if you pay the 1,599 pounds, you get the one times 1.4 um, extender with it. But I didn't want any of that, I just wanted the lens. And this lens cost me £1,100. This was from Camera Jungle, which is part of Jessup's. Clusters Mint on their website. They was not wrong again, it was mint. This came with a box which was not mint. But I'm not really too bothered about that. This one came with its box, which again was not mint. Um, but the lenses are this one. Now this is a seven hundred pound lens all day long. The eighteen to one three five. It's a little bit grubby, it, but that's because it just needs a clean. It's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Now this was the camera exchange. No box. The price is still on there. Four nine 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 nine. It was five hundred pounds, saving two hundred pounds. What can I say? I've sold that lens, the 100-400mm, and I've also sold a Canon 5D Mark II. But I am hanging on to these cameras, which is the wrong thing to do. So I was chatting with the guy at London Camera Exchange in Leamington Spa this morning where I purchased this lens. And uh, he said to me, you know, and let me just tell you something about the London Camera Exchange. They've done me no favours, by the way. Um, I just went in as a customer, phoned them yesterday, seen they'd got this. I've been hunting this lens. Um, they, uh, Camera Jungle had one for £600. Um, now, let me, I, I've got so much to tell you about buying used gear. Um, Wex Photographer, absolutely brilliant. Uh, paperwork's fantastic, uh, it was in the box, it said exactly what it does on the box, that it was mint condition, it was, the packaging when it was posted, perfect, airbags in there, the lot. Wex Photographer, uh, though slightly expensive on the used stuff, I'm giving you 10 out of 10, absolutely perfect. Camera Jungle, they said it was mint, um, price I, I thought was reasonable I mean to save 500 pounds on a lens <laughs> I mean that's ridiculous come on 500 pound it was in its box it says what it says packaging very poor you need to get your fingers out and just get some airbags in there it was literally in a big box in its box with it's it was just like paper 
brown paper screwed up tied up and placed around leaving roughly around that much gap in the box top and bottom so the the lens was probably just got doing that all day airbags you need airbags put airbags in so i'm going to give you guys for packaging which is one of the most important things i've got to give you seven out of ten because pa you've, you've you've done it you've done everything you've advertised you've sold it you've got to post it out and it could co come to the consumer damaged what's the point packaging please important other than that your stuff your prices everything you're spot on spot on and this over at um, London Camera Exchange, it reminded me when I started doing photography back in 2009, I used to buy all my equipment from a store in Leicester called Jacobs and it was the old family ran uh, photography shop and today this was reminiscent of that time. Uh, it's a very small shop, but it had everything. And people in there, they knew everything you needed to know about camera equipment. There was no rush. You didn't feel pushed. Um, there was no, nothing. He started talking about the Fuji cameras to me and his smashing man. I wish that I took his name. Um, but if you do get to watch this, please drop a comment and just introduce yourself. But what a really, really nice, nice man, knowledgeable man about photographer. Uh, nothing was too much trouble. He took cameras out of cases for me, um, looked if they'd got any pre-sold stuff. Because obviously what I'm going to do is look for another body. And they all take uh, second-hand stuff. So I think what it'll be, it'll be pack it up, take it down there, get it valued, get another Fuji body and... And whatever else I need, maybe a couple of flashes or something, and uh, off camera a, a, a lighting system. But so, I'd like to give you guys at um, London Camera Exchange ten out of ten again for service. Although this never had a box, it it wasn't worth one. But this send, saved me two hundred pounds on a brand new one, and everybody else that had got this lens in. Um, were a hundred pound dearer. So if you've got to pay a hundred pound for a cardboard box, then you can keep your cardboard box. It's as easy as that. Now, park cameras. Just after Christmas, it was. They had one of these lenses, one uh, eighteen to one thirty-five, and this was at the time I was scratching my head. Shall I show and But theirs was something like four. 50 and they're saying it was in mint condition so I thought well that's a bargain and when I got to the cash out it was free paste and packaging and they gave you another 10% off I was like what that's amazing so bang straight away all my doubts had gone whether to buy that lens at that price that was under 400 pound in the end so I purchased it and uh, I waited I thought, okay, it's bank holiday, I'll leave it. So it was the second, Tuesday the 2nd, I rang. It was near close of business. I asked them what was going off. Um, I'd got no confirmation of it being uh, dispatched. Didn't know anything about it. They took the money out of my account. They says there is no such lens on the system. Uh, we never had that lens. If we did, we've sold it. We can't find the lens. We're really sorry. We'll put your money back in your account. It'll take up to four working days. So park cameras, you get a zero. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you somewhere along the line. And this is the continuation of my Fuji story. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks very much. Oh, don't forget, get out and shoot. You know your morning. Cheers, guys.